<laughs> Brennan is a full adult man who works on the internet. You can treat Brennan any way you want. Smut, <laughs> all right? Lady smut, made out of words, written in a long book. This next question comes to us from Big Titty Brennan. Thanks, Big Titty Brennan. Perfect. Our top story, cars. Sure, they go beep beep, but are they too sexy? A new study found one in four Americans are sexually attracted to their shiny metal mamas. The man smiles and approaches a cool ass car on the street. What defines comfort? Is it Italian leather seats? Glamour shots of car seats, man sits into them. UV resistant sunroof? Sunroof opens up. A complete automated self-driving system? Man leans back and presses the on button. Sure, it may sound yummy to give your cruiser tiny smooches with your little wisp, whips? With your whittle whips. <sighs> Fuck, but manufacturers are warning customers not to get too attached. The Fox from Carfax gave the following tips to decrease car lust. One, take public transportation when possible. Two, never wax your vehicle. And three, forget rules one and two. Uh, here are the songs that I ruined for myself. I had a suite of alarm songs, songs I ruined. Uh, I used to work as a PA and I have to get up at unconscionable hours of the morning. Uh, Blackbird by the Beatles is ruined for me. <laughs> uh, that was my pre, if I had to wake up pre-dawn, I would use Blackbird. Cause it was, it was like pretty soft. Pretty soft. Cause it started like bah, the little like guitar, like, Blackbird singing in the dead of night. And I appreciated a little bit the like, oh, it is the dead of night and I have to be awake. And that one was one. Uh, <laughs> You're right. Uh, what about 1,000 yeah. times? <laughs> uh, One thousand times, and then I did Circle of Life from The Lion King. For it was like around sunrise, so, nah, seven, <laughs> like like the yeah, sun going up because that felt fun to me. The other one that was funny when I was very miserable at a long term job uh, was uh, Put Your Little Hand in Mine, which I edited to start at the moment it starts in Groundhog's Day. <laughs> so like, <laughs> put your little hand in mine, <laughs> Sunny and Cher, two, uh, two uh, on the nose, two on the nose. I know I had to, that was yeah, very very on the nose, wake up songs. God. I think I knew that the clip was important before I knew how to talk to girls. So I would yeah. argue Mean Brennan is fun Brennan. I actually, yeah. There's oh, yeah. some we enjoy sincere mean Brennan. overlap. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Really, it's not mean, but if it was mean, we do enjoy it. So which one is it? Yeah. It's really, it was are really we sick fun this whole or season. Are you? <laughs> like, I... You're pure evil like you, maybe. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You are a sick son of a <laughs> Gonna kill that dog. Oh, 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 He's the bad guy. Oh. You are All the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying this? You're having it's, fun. It is so wild to time. feel the energy that is normally at this table. Mm -hmm. Put that tongue back in your is, mouth. You're Put a vampire. That tongue right deep now. in your mouth. Brennan? Yeah? My, my goal today yeah. is to make your life a living hell. Ooh. Hey, dude. Yeah, yeah, man, we're not even going to this place where you planned. Kina looks down and says, nice spell, cuz. I'm gonna enjoy this. How many hit points do you have left? <gasps> 12. You have 12 hit points left. What the fuck? You can't kill Troy Ann at this stage in the fucking you, show. You came <laughs> to the underworld. Second attack is a natural one. Oh, oh God, and Brennan, you God. better speak faster, bitch. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah no speak, speak up, speed up the speech, <laughs> uh, You know what? Oh this God. is this is this is huge right here. So we're gonna roll a box of doom. That's this, the is, this is this is a message trick. Natural one. <laughs> I'm use that one. You're, you guys are spotting all my tricks. <laughs> um, I will ask this time if there was that. I'm just I'm just waiting. Just waiting. Prepping hook. <sighs> oh come! Don't do that face. And I go like that. And then I say, he's not on the ship, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking throw my dice box at you! <laughs> and I can give you some extra dice if you want some extra dice to roll for this. Oh, give it to me, daddy. Here we go. Come uh, here. So That's yeah. Dungeons, daddy. So, oh. Erica. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You want to roll in that tray for me? Do it. So I'm gonna <laughs> warn you ahead of time, because I, I, want, I want this to be, to feel earned. If she doesn't have damage to knock you to zero hit points, you do not die right away. You fall to unconsciousness and you start to make death saving throws. We're gonna see how much damage she does. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can do, I can shield. Unfortunately, shield only is for you. Oh, it's such a sad, I'm, but I love, actually, 
fuck that. I don't want that rule to be true right now. Um, <gasps> uh, uh, I don't want that rule to be true right now. If you give me an Arcana check of 15, I'll let you change the rules of the game. Oh, so give shit. me oh. give me Arcana. If you can beat a 15, you can I throw a shield. What's a six? What do you add to Arcana? It plus ain't. seven. What's six plus seven? Thirteen. Thirteen. Just Nine. shy. It's but okay, I tried. You tried. And if you think I wasn't one turn away from punishing all you guys for this, you're crazy. How generous do we feel How generous now? generous do we feel it's now, indeed. I am tempted not to give it to Brennan, uh, <laughs> but... Well, <this laughs> we all know Trap's a shitty bitch, but... Yeah. Be so careful. Shut the fuck up! The rest of them are all at a beach party, just like spitting on people. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoa, intense. Really it's horrible really, time really to do that. You just hear like, almost like furniture being thrown. <laughs> As I'm going in like there. there. No, no, do not! As what sounds like a tiefling's body slams against every surface <gasps> in the towel room. He needs help! No, no, no. I'm the potty goblin, bitch! And here's what you've done wrong. You've stayed at this party for far, far too long. <laughs> I come for that person who's still hanging out when the beer is all gone and their friends have peaced out. I really thought you were an urban legend. Ah, urban legend? My dear, you're mistaken. Because of me in the morn, you'll be greasy as bacon. No! I'll put plaque on your teeth. No! And I'll put zips on your face. Oh! That condom you brought yeah. completely a waste. Why? Well... The only cute guy left this party like hours ago. No, Brandon, no, he's coming back. No, he's coming on his girlfriend's back, all right. Up top! No. Up top, I said! Ah! <laughs> you know what? No, I I'm actually gonna get on that G train. I'm going home. The G train, she says. Do you mean the goblin train? It's been stuck at Hoyt's Jumbo Horn for hours. The only choice you have left is whether your jacket will be your blanket or your pillow! <laughs> You're the worst party goblin, I'm calling you a cab! Oh, gypsy cabs won't accept credit cards from your dad! Fine, then I'll take my stuff and I'll walk! Suit yourself, bed sty is right up the block! Fuck it, fine, I'll sleep on the floor! You're allergic to cats and the hostess has four! I don't understand, do you want to make out? I'm into guys! Dost thou covet buxom wenches with leather corsets? Fuck yeah! Then come on down to the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair! We're gonna have jugglers, jesters, fire eaters, and Chaucer's Canterbury Tales performed on dirt bikes! When the Capri with half the shore sota, the growth of March has paired into the rota, and bathed every vine and switched the cure, of which to engender a little cure. You get to judge the wet tunic contest, Sassy! At 11, stay tuned for a live beheading. Go as post in the king's forest! Lisa, I did not know what I had done. I only did it to feed my family. Then your family shall starve and your head roll! The king's mercy! Gods will be done! I do use this to get high. High on the written word, motherfuckers. Ah. He said, what do you want your shelves to look like? And I was like, well, my aesthetic is wizard chic. So I would love them to look <laughs> kind of wizardly. And literally, this is what happened. I described, I described the shelves I wanted. And I said, I said, do you know Vince Guaraldi's Christmas jazz? And oh my was like, God, of course. And I was like, the great thing, the, the, it's the best. It was like, the great thing about Vince Guaraldi's Christmas jazz, because if you love Christmas, like me, but you have dear loved ones that are Grinches, that are not about Christmas, you can't just be playing, you know, uh, uh, Hark the Herald Angel Sings. They'll catch mm. wise to that, and they'll say, P.U., no thank you. <laughs> but if you put on a little Vince Guaraldi, all the oh, Christmas okay. heads in the crowd, they go, oh, sick, Christmas music. And the people that are not into Christmas go, some jazz. And that is a nice, it's like a stealth Christmas really, thing. Really, for everybody. And I said, give me the shelves that do that, what Vince Guaraldi music does, but for being a nerd. And he went, got it, wizard who fucks. Uh, before we move on, actually, you know what? It's a little toasty in here, so you I'm just gonna- You hot, dude? You hot? I'm a little hot, so oh! I'm just gonna- Oh! The shed is bad. The shirt. I like the shirt. What do you mean? What's the shirt is good. The, the famous good shirt, shirt that you wear one. every day. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that there was such a kerfuffle over my shirt, so. I'm gonna go ahead and change shirts if there's such a big wow. to do about. What are you, what are you 
What's it say? What's it say? What? What's up? Bethany won shirt gate. Wow. Bethany won shirt Congratulations, gate. Bethany. Hey, Bethany. What? Congratulations. What? You won shirt gate. <laughs> all right. Look. Uh, so many changes. Oh, she just posted right today that you shirt. wear that shirt all the time. I own lots of shirts. <laughs> oh, do you? I got plenty of shirts. <laughs> you gotta tell me what my children want. This, this bit took so long that we moved to the Gorgug music. Uh, all right, everyone. This is where we learn Brennan's fetish. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm the one who invented that like beast men are hot. Summon beast is a great option. Hunter's mark is well, a great- I always want to summon the beast. Of course. <laughs> Wrap around him and drag him down to one knee. You can see like the Hulk, his muscles getting larger as he gets more angry as just trying to pull against these grasping vines. I never forget the, the, the barnacles are not growing on his knees. Remember the barnacles? <laughs> I, think I don't think <laughs> vampires are hot. Mm. I don't. I don't. We can have this discussion because Brennan also is like, no, nah, it's about werewolves. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I think I'd have to go werewolf. I would, it, but uh, but yeah. the kind, the kind cool. that is not not as cursed, but voluntarily shape shifting would be very oh. very fun. Like <laughs> Say it. <laughs> oh, don't spray it. You have don't it. Spray it. <laughs> you have it with you. I can smell it. <laughs> I'm I've been lost in the jungle for 40 years, but why do you always make any pocket? It seems strange. Again, I've lived with the animals exclusively for 40 years. Why do you make any pocket? I've always said if you keep bacon in your pocket, you can make friends with everybody. Oh! You're my wife now! <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you can't focus on ballet if we're in the middle of the jungle. The trees are one thing, but a, a lion or a tiger is another. <laughs> or a jaguar, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> Which of my partners told you that? Chicken parm, chicken tikka masala, or buffalo chicken? Ooh. Fuck all three. <laughs> fuck, fuck all three. <laughs> I want to fuck all three of those. <laughs> not even, a, not even a, a thought experiment. I just, I would like to order some various chicken dishes. Let's go get some buffalo wings, you guys. <laughs> let's let's think about this. I think that I'm. Uh, I think of these three, I'm bored to death by chicken parm. Yeah, uh, I agree. I, I think oh, it's a classic. I think agree. it never goes out of style. Uh, that's my wife you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so marry chicken parm. <laughs> chicken parm. I honestly will marry and fuck all three and kill none. That's my answer to this question. Chicken, um, no, chicken parm. You go to Lil Dom's over in Los Feliz, you get the fucking chicken parm. It's, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's a solid chunk of meat. You could kill somebody with that thing. I mean, it's heavy. Uh huh. Well, buffalo is a sauce, so you can have boneless buffalo wings. You can have buffalo wings. You could have buffalo, like you can get a buffalo chicken wrap. I just salivated so much <laughs> in my mouth. I truly salivated so much. <laughs> Fuck, it's all so good. Um, you have to make a choices. choice. Um, there is a, and I understand that this is a game. <laughs> I understand that. Sure. My answer, if you pose the question to me, it, choose one of these three to kill. My answer to you is no. Would I you kill? Shoot, I will kill myself. Yes, I, I will kill say, myself. Or I, I would kill myself to have all three of those chickens survive. Hmm. I kill chicken parm. <laughs> well, my God, boat. if I have done anything to suggest that I favor <laughs> chicken parm over chicken tikka masala or buffalo chicken, then that is on me. Sure. Chicken parm was under attack, and I had to. <laughs> really, what it is is I am in a polyamorous marriage with all three. Oh, Do yeah. they know that? If they don't, then I've failed as a husband. Aww. If they don't know how much I care, then that's on me. Okay. I believe in you guys. I see this. <laughs> yeah. This is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you just make sure you're spending an equal amount of time yeah. with each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And obviously, there's something that we have to navigate. We have to navigate these relationships it's with hard. each other. Yeah. And, and I, you know, they are all different. So you have to love them in different ways because they're not the same person. You know, it's not a one size fits all approach. This is the most passionate you've been about anything we've talked about. <laughs> <laughs> but would you have them all together, like on the same plate? 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Wow. Well, hey, it's a, you hey, know. He's blushing it's marriage. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a while. I am, I some Valentine's Day. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I am sweating. That's very cool. That's All very right, cool to think about. The bed that I lost my virginity in, in a one night stand when I was 16 years old, is the same bed I was later cuckolded in in my longest at the time relationship. Holy <laughs> That's gotta be worth, I don't know what's worth five points if that's not worth five points. Joining us today, two very special guests and one less special guest. Uh, <laughs> I'm always very known. Uh, Unless you recognize that you yourself are bad and deserve that uh, life. Oh yeah, that's, that's, yes, yes, that's a big difference. So it's a city for shitty people, yeah. yes. Or a city for people <laughs> that have the humility and mm. spiritual acumen to understand mm. that not everything in life is supposed to be comfortable. Mm. My New York spirit animal is me eating a bodega sandwich on the subway, <laughs> crouched in the corner because there are no seats and I can't stand for that long. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I flew back to New York in the middle of a blizzard and stepped into like a two foot deep puddle as like sleet and hail was coming in at like less than a 45 degree angle, like horizontal, cutting into my eyes and face. And I screamed into the wind and it was so loud in the city that no one could hear me and I've never felt more alive. Oh, oh, God, God. No, oh, this, God. Is, this is exactly what is wrong. Is that character exactly. building? Yeah. No, no, no. No, it's good. It's good and right. And no. basing your life around what makes you comfortable oh, is I, a soporific I, that is eventually going to leech all of your spiritual strength. This is it. a moving Ooh. piece of the, shit is just as much of a red flag as... Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Just As a candy man, running. A true humiliation kink. His point was, I didn't want them to know I was candy. Oh, baby. All Murph <laughs> wants is to be a good, good boy. Go ahead and roll damage. He takes 54 necrotic wow. damage. <laughs> Damn. You sucked him dry. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. I can't believe you are draining all of the moisture from my body. <laughs> I thought this would never happen again. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, whoa. Oh, it took me. It took me five seconds. <laughs> hey, I, oh. Sorry. I, uh, you know, you gotta, it's the, you gotta follow the, the game of the scene. Um, uh, is there no saving throw for this spell? Silence? No. It just sucks. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Learn something new. <laughs> um. Oh. No way. No. no. Really? <laughs> There's money on it. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Um, I'll swipe it as many times as you want. <laughs> you know, I, uh, your credit card's never fucked up before. I know, I know. It, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for me. <laughs> I get it, I get it. <laughs> My wife doesn't! <laughs> huh? I found the last dark evil knight and I fucking got it in like a fish. <laughs> so can you No, I did not. Hey, he's still rolling around. <laughs> You're psyching me out, man. You're psyching me out, you're breathing real heavy, you're getting in my head. No, no, you have to be very careful. You're so big and you talk so low. Look, I just came here. Bro, 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 it's what I think, it's no judgment. There's no judgment here. You are, you are cool, wherever you lift, you lift what weight you lift, it's fine. All right, 
Just because you put no judgment all over the gym doesn't mean I don't feel judged. You know what I mean? Listen, I feel like I just like sorry in advance. Is Weightlifting comes from believing in yourself, you know? When I first start, there's no way I can lift this bench press machine, and no! <laughs> Come on, man! Are you kidding me? That's got all the weights on it! I was gonna use a thing and just put, like, all two of them! Was that? No, listen, it's, it's not about the size of the muscle. My, my muscle shape and size of a cannon, right? Yes! <laughs> but, but you believe in your heart. You can accomplish great things. Man, I feel bad for yelling at you. You're real nice to me. You're real nice to me. It's okay. My name's Sergey. Hey, man. <laughs> I am the boss of you. Educated. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ira Glass. I'm here to get you. It's heavy. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I got it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so Sorry, much. Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm a weak man. I'm a weak little boy. <laughs> a weak little boy. A weak little boy. I have the reports back. It's about the child. <laughs> this doesn't concern me. <laughs> Thank you again for, for seeing me. Oh. <laughs> Go in peace. Go in peace. <laughs> you know what? Life's pretty fucking short. <laughs>she's a freak and was basically like licking Got her it. lips as she burned. You look at the yeah. door, you look at the door and you see there's an enormous bouncer at the door who's really 
a really sweet, good-natured guy. Uh, you hired him a while ago. His name is Hans Schadenfreude. Hello there! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fox! Oh, Hans. Thank you again for the job. I hope that I can be of service. I love to hurt the people who are here that uh, are doing no good, you know? <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> I delight in seeing their torment. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we keep you around. Yes. Keep balance. Very good. We love it. Hey, so this Danny guy over there, you see him at the bar? Oh, yes, Mr. Donald Urges. Yes, I see him. I'm getting a little bit of a, what we may call in the future, a bad vibe from this dude. Oh, yes, a bad vibe from the dude. Would you like me to go over and ruin his day? <laughs> Maybe not. Don't cause a scene, man. But dispose of him discreetly and pleasurably, as you may wish. <sighs> Very well, Mr. Fox. Humiliation is part of it, though. Um, <laughs> Weird thing to say, but you know what? Go for it. <laughs> I am technically a pleasure, too. <laughs> you see? <laughs> We've just discovered this one. This one is that one time a barber whispered in our ear and during a haircut, and it made us feel really strange, and there's not a word for it yet. Uh, you see this? Like, this is like a small memory here who goes like, oh, thanks, mister, for the... Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, this oh, is oh. It's not sexual. But no, it's, also it's not, but not, it's... Not, not sexual. It's, <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> wow, it's so deep in there. Um, <laughs> get the guy still going like, oh, 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 I'm still doing it. Oh, that feels so fucking good. You're a free man for now, Daniel. But you need to understand, people who run this city, they set the rules. The big guy doesn't deserve pleasure. Oh, and but he likes it. Yeah. 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 Is, there, is this about, is actually, is this, wait, is this about you and me right now, or is this? <laughs> could, be, could be, my man. <laughs> All right. Well. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, no, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. <laughs> Hans looks over and says, I am very sorry, so that in all the chaos, I wasn't sure if you wanted me to grapple and hit and destroy the police officers that wandered in here, but it seemed like you were having a flirtatious <laughs> encounter <laughs> with the chief of police. Oh, shut up, Hans. I know you got quite a bit of pleasure out of watching this place get torn apart. <laughs> you did not want it to happen. I see right through you, man. <laughs> uh, <he's laughs> Get this pervert out of here. Hans, go home. <laughs> oh, go home. This is terrible. Hmm? I'm going to say your rhythmic gyrations give advantage on this intimidation roll. I pity you. You who cannot feel the caress of code against your neurons. You who must now stop watching this episode because you haven't yet signed up for Dropout. A pleasure palace awaits you behind the paywall. Join us <clears throat> at dropout.tv. Well, guys, we're all rock hard, so that's time for us to sign off. Um, uh <laughs>